while the rest of the world keeps obsessing over lithium as if it were the only path to powering our future, something far bigger and more disruptive has quietly entered the battlefield. And it's not coming from China. Elon Musk's 2026 Tesla, all-new aluminum ion battery, is not just another incremental improvement in battery technology. It's the kind of breakthrough that fundamentally rewrites the rules of the game, the kind that entire industries spend decades trying to achieve but never quite reach. This time, it's here. Truly, finally, here. And Tesla isn't talking. About some far-off prototype stuck in a lab. Production is set to begin as early as the beginning of next year, with tested versions already proving not just the bold claims made about them, but in many cases exceeding expectations. What you're about to learn is not just a story about a better battery, it's about the end of China's decades-long dominance over the global battery supply chain, a dominance built on lithium-ion technology, rare earth materials, and an intricate network of mining and refining operations that stretch across the globe. In the next 18 minutes, Tesla's story unfolds in a way no one else has clearly revealed before, and once you understand it, you'll see why Beijing's battery giants are suddenly in panic mode. The 2026 aluminum-ion battery is more than just a step forward in performance. It's the key that could unlock American industrial independence and dismantle a $340 billion Chinese battery cartel in one decisive blow. What China doesn't want you to know is that Tesla's aluminum-ion breakthrough has already triggered what insiders are calling the most aggressive industrial espionage campaign in modern history. Intelligence leaks confirm that Chinese state-backed hackers have launched over 47,000 cyber attacks on Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada in just the last 90 days alone, each attempt aimed at stealing the manufacturing blueprints and proprietary chemistry behind these new cells. And Beijing has good reason to be alarmed because this isn't a minor efficiency tweak. This is about a fundamental materials shift that takes away the very scarcity advantage China built its battery empire upon. Aluminum is one of the most abundant metals on Earth, widely available across North America, and its processing infrastructure is already deeply embedded in the U.S. industrial landscape. But abundance is only half the story. Tesla's secret weapon is something called quantum tunnel architecture, an innovation in cell design that allows aluminum ions to move through. The battery's crystalline structure up to 23 times faster than the lithium ions in Chinese batteries. That's not just marginally better. It's a leap so large it makes even the fastest Chinese fast-charging technologies look like they belong in the horse and buggy era. In performance terms, these new cells can discharge their entire capacity in just 47 seconds if needed, delivering a power density that opens possibilities from ultra-fast acceleration to industrial-scale energy bursts. And while Chinese lithium-ion batteries degrade over time, losing efficiency and capacity with every cycle, Tesla's aluminum-ion cells do the opposite. Thanks to nano-engineered graphene channels that literally self-repair during charging, these batteries actually get more efficient with use. After 100,000 full-charge cycles, Internal tests show they perform about 13% better than when they were brand new, an inversion of the entire business model on which planned battery obsolescence has been built. This threatens not just China's market share, but the long-term revenue strategies of every lithium-ion competitor. Even more disruptive is the speed and scale at which this transition can happen. Because aluminum extraction and processing is already a major industry in the United States, with facilities in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Texas producing over 1.1 million tons annually, Tesla can bypass the decade-long ramp-up timeline typical of lithium mining and refining expansions. Through partnerships with companies like Alcoa Corporation, Tesla will be able to plug directly into an existing industrial ecosystem, retrofitting production lines in a fraction of the time it would take to develop new lithium supply chains. This is the genius of Musk's approach. Rather than fighting China on its own lithium turf, Tesla has simply changed the battlefield entirely. 
The economic implications are staggering. For two decades, Chinese giants like CATL and BYD have dominated on price, producing lithium-ion cells at around $87 per kilowatt hour thanks to massive state subsidies, cheap labor, and aggressive scaling. Tesla's aluminum-ion technology comes in at just $61 per kilowatt hour, a 30% cost advantage right out of the gate. That's made possible by the fact that aluminum processing uses 65% less energy than lithium extraction and refining, involves simpler electrochemical processes, and relies on an already established domestic supply chain. And because the Gigafactory in Nevada can be converted from lithium to aluminum ion production in just eight months, a fraction of the three years needed for new lithium facilities, Tesla is projecting an annual production capacity of 2.1 terawatt hours by Q3 2026. That's enough to power 6.2 million vehicles annually, all built on U.S. soil. When these batteries hit the market, Chinese manufacturers will face a brutal choice, slash their prices to match Tesla's and sacrifice profitability, or watch their market share evaporate as a superior, cheaper, American-made alternative takes over. Either path spells economic chaos for a sector that brought China $43.2 billion in export revenue in 2024 alone. And the advantages don't stop with cost or performance. One of the long-standing Achilles heels of electric vehicles, particularly in cold climates, has been the way lithium-ion batteries lose capacity as temperatures drop. In extreme cold, lithium cells can lose up to 40% of their capacity, turning EVs into expensive, unreliable machines. China's battery makers have spent billions developing complex thermal management systems to fight this, but these add weight, cost, and complexity while delivering only modest improvements. Tesla's aluminum-ion chemistry, on the other hand, simply doesn't suffer from the same problem. In internal testing, aluminum-ion cells retained 96% of their capacity at 30 degrees A compared to the 60% retention typical of the best lithium-ion cells from China. Even after being subjected to 40 degrees C for 72 hours straight, performance degradation was less than 2%. In real-world terms, that means a Tesla Model 2, equipped with these batteries, can deliver 387 miles of range at 20 degrees Sacken, while a competing Chinese EV might struggle to get 180 miles under identical conditions. Charging performance in sub-zero. Environments is equally transformative. While lithium-ion packs need to preheat, consuming energy and stretching charge times past 90 minutes, Aluminum ion cells can take a full charge in four minutes, even at 35 degrees C. That opens huge markets in places like Canada, Scandinavia, northern U.S. states, and Russia. Markets Chinese EVs have struggled to penetrate precisely because their technology can't handle the cold. Beyond cold resistance, Tesla's batteries have undergone one of the most rigorous real-world testing programs in EV history. Over 2,800 pre-production vehicles have clocked more than 18 million miles across 47 states, with independent verification from third-party labs and even peer-reviewed publication in the Journal of Power Sources. The results? After 500,000 miles, Tesla's aluminum-ion batteries retained 94.7% of their original capacity, compared to 73.2% for leading lithium-ion packs. Safety testing has been equally dramatic. Over 10,000 destructive cycles showed zero. Instances of thermal runaway, the dangerous overheating event that has caused so many EV fires globally. That safety profile is so compelling that insurance companies are already planning discounts for aluminum-ion-equipped vehicles, and even the U.S. Department of Defense has selected the technology for its next-generation combat vehicles, citing unmatched reliability and resilience. And then there's the architectural freedom aluminum-ion chemistry unlocks. Because these cells generate far less heat, they don't require complex liquid cooling systems, air cooling is enough, cutting out pumps, radiators, and 47 pounds of coolant hardware while lowering production costs by $200 per vehicle.
The reduced heat output also makes it possible to integrate ultracapacitors for instant power delivery without thermal risk, enabling blistering acceleration without compromising range. Solar panel integration becomes viable too, since aluminum ion cells can accept a wide range of charging voltages directly, letting flexible roof-mounted panels add as much as 45 miles of daily range in sunny conditions. Battery swapping, once a logistical headache, also becomes practical with aluminum ions lighter modular design. Individual modules weigh just 18 pounds and can be swapped in under six minutes. Taken together, these innovations aren't just competitive features. They're the blueprint for dismantling everything China has built its EV battery empire upon. With lower costs, better performance, greater safety, faster charging, and resilience in climates where lithium fails, Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion battery isn't merely an upgrade. It's a declaration that the era of China's battery dominance is ending and a new age of American-led energy technology is beginning.